Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to the video for Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. My name is Vincent SGN. In this Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree build video guide, I'm going to show you my Dragon Cult Lightning build. This build was designed to significantly boost lightning damage from lightning type weapons and Dragon Cult incantations. This build utilizes a few unique items only obtainable from the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC, the main two being the Priestess Heart and the Flowerstone Gavel. The Priestess Heart transforms your character into a half-dragon man, and the Flowerstone Gavel is a boss weapon drop that makes targets weaker to lightning attacks. In this video, I'll show you how to get both of these items and more. But really quick, before I get into all that, do me a small favor if you're new here, sub to the channel with notifications on and give the video a like, I'd really appreciate it because it does help the channel to grow. Alright, so first, to get the Priestess Heart and the Flowerstone Gavel, you must defeat the Dragon Bale at Dragon Peak Summit. To get there, you must go through the Dragon's Pit Cave to get to the Dragon's Pit Terminus Site of Grace. If you've never been there before, you can get there easily from the Castle Front Site of Grace, right outside of Castle Insis. Once you have the Dragon's Pit Terminus Site of Grace unlocked, you should then head to the Grand Altar of Dragon Communion and talk to the Dragon Communion Priestess. She will set you on the mission of slaying Bale. From there, head to the very top of Jagged Peak to face Bale. In this video, I easily defeated him using the Dragon Hunter Great Katana. Once Bale was done with, you get Bale's heart. Take it back to the Dragon Communion Altar and the Priestess will be gone, leaving behind the Priestess's heart and the Flowerstone Gavel. Next, make sure you max out the Flowerstone Gavel or at least level it up to plus 9. It also might be a good idea to have another lightning weapon on hand, something that quickly spits lightning attacks, such as the Bolt of Grand Sacks. Next, use the Gavelstone Seal for your incantation because it enhances Dragon Cult spells. For your armor, you must not wear any. To get the Priestess Heart to work, you must take off all of your armor. Equip it to your Quick Bar, and when you activate it, you'll be transformed into a Half Dragon Man. Once you are transformed, the change is permanent until you die. Activate it again once you're transformed to gain a 20% buff to all Dragon Cult incantations. Talisman to use with this build would be the Shard of Alexander, the Lightning Scorpion Charm, the Godfrey Icon, and a defensive talisman of your choice. For the Mixed Wondrous Physic, use the Lightning Shroud and Crack tier along with the Opaline Hard tier to boost all damage negation. For stats, since this is a Lightning Damage build, the main stats to focus on are your Faith and Dexterity, so make sure those are both around 55 to 60. Vigor can be about 45 to 50. Mine needs to be a little bit on the high side so you can cast those incantations, so I'd say about 50 to 55. Strength should be at 20 so you can use the Bolt of Grand Sacks, and Arcane needs to be at least 15 so you can use the Flowerstone Gavel. And whatever's left, throw it all into Endurance. When it comes to incantations, use Blessing of the Erd Tree, Golden Vow, Flame Grant Me Strength, Protection of the Erd Tree, and Black Flame's Protection, with at least one defensive spell for whatever boss you're fighting next. For attack spells, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike is top tier on the list with Knight's Lightning Spear, Lancey's Glaive, and Fortisac's Lightning Spear. When you use this build in combat, be sure to remember to use the Priestess Heart for the attack buff, and also hit whatever you're fighting at least once with the Flowerstone Gavel's unique skill, Flower Dragon Bolt. Doing this lowers your target's lightning negation, so it takes more damage from lightning attacks. You can charge this attack to increase the power. Alright, that's going to be it for this build. If it was helpful, you can show me your thanks by liking the video. For more, head to my channel and check out my playlist for Elden Ring. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.